We're joined now by James F. Einswissel, the U.S. Ambassador to Nigeria. Good to have you with us, sir. You know, it's not often that a U.S. Secretary of State will visit a country just uh, a few weeks before an election. Why is the U.S. so concerned when it comes to the uh, Nigerian elections? Well, I wouldn't say we're concerned. I would say we're enthusiastically supporting the process here. Uh, Nigeria is our most important relationship in Africa. We're hugely invested here, and we want to see this election go well. So I think Secretary Kerry's visit to Lagos in late January, during which he met with both of the uh, presidential candidates, was a gesture of U.S. friendship and support. Do you think that uh, Nigerian officials on all sides have done everything they can and should do to ensure that the elections will go smoothly, that there won't be violence? There's been a huge investment by the security services here. The police are out in force all over the country. We know the police well here. We've been in touch with them, and they're taking this responsibility very seriously. As your commentary noted, it's a massive exercise tomorrow in this huge country. But I think everything is in place for security. Um, we'll all be watching. We'll all be hoping that things go well. I'll be out myself along with thousands of dedicated election observers. So uh, we're, uh, we're quite optimistic. All systems are go. What would any election problems, any election violence mean, not only for U.S. policy towards uh, Nigeria, but towards uh, the efforts, the U.S. efforts towards Boko Haram? Well, I think we've been very clear that uh, violence has no place in a democratic process. I've been talking about that myself for over a year. Uh, you will have seen that Secretary Kerry was quite clear about that when he was in Lagos. Just this week, we've released here a, uh, a, a video message from President Obama directly to the Nigerian people in which he talks about the fact that violence has no place in the democratic process. Yeah. So I think, if nothing else, all of these efforts, along with great efforts by Nigerian civil society, have introduced a sense of accountability on violence. If it happens, the people who are backing it, the people whose supporters are doing it, will be we held accountable. So I think we've made progress on that. Obviously, as we evaluate an election anywhere in the world, um, violence and insecurity and that kinds of thing during the uh, actual voting itself are taken into consideration. But uh, I choose to be quite op optimistic about tomorrow's exercise and about the gubernatorial elections in two weeks. Um, Nigeria is a huge friend and partner. Um, let's see how it goes. All right, I'm glad you mentioned accountability for violence because uh, people from Nobel laureates, as you probably are aware of, to foreign mediators uh, have suggested or have made allegations of complicity by state officials in supporting Boko Haram. Do you see any evidence of that? No, I don't see any evidence of that. Um, uh, the poor, beleaguered people in the, the three northeastern states that have been hardest hit by the... Uh, by the um, as you know, many of them are displaced. We're doing everything we can to help them on a humanitarian uh, um, uh, footing. But the idea that uh, somehow Nigerian officials are complicit in this, uh, it's easy to say that, but I've seen no compelling evidence to support that. All right. Thank you so much for your thoughts on that.